Today I want to talk about Jesus on the cross as a sacrifice. We talk about this a lot, uh, use this terminology. Uh, it's throughout Scripture, throughout the New Testament, as they talk about the sacrifice of Jesus or the the blood that was shed. First John 2, 2 says, He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, but also the sins of the whole world. And so... Oftentimes what we do is we take our understanding of what a sacrifice is and project this onto Jesus on the cross. And so we usually think of a sacrifice as a way of pleasing the gods or of pleasing our God and of, of taking the punishment. The animal takes the punishment for the people so that the people can enjoy a good life. And so we, we view every reference to Jesus as a sacrifice in terms of Jesus being punished. But in fact, in the Old Testament, there are actually three times, three types of sacrifice. One is the sin sacrifice, which certainly has to do with sin or atonement. The other is a um, burnt offering, which is a, a, a um, sacrifice of commitment uh, or worship to, to God. And then the third one is a fellowship offering, uh, a thanksgiving offering, a peace offering, where uh, God actually eats with the worshiper. And so, of all those three, uh, we have choices. And in fact, Jesus may be all three in some respects. One important aspect to, to consider here is that the death of Jesus is also about a covenant. You might recall at the Last Supper, Jesus says, This is my blood of the new covenant. And so, uh, in Jeremiah 31, a well-known passage, verse 34, it says, For I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. He's going. God's going to write his new covenant on our hearts, but he will remember his people's sin no more. And so there's this connection between new covenant and forgiveness. And so covenants are sealed with a sacrifice. And so one way of viewing Jesus' sacrificial death is as a seal of a new covenant between God and God. And his people. Another context for this sacrifice is the Passover. Uh, John the baptizer, when Jesus was uh, first being introduced, beginning his ministry, pointed at Jesus and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. 1 Corinthians 5, uh, Paul describes Christ, our Passover Lamb, has been sacrificed. The Passover Lamb wasn't about sin. Israel had not sinned. Rather, the Passover Lamb was killed, its blood was put around the door so that God would pass over his people. And so Jesus is also our Passover lamb. 